bounce back and Siebel's loans update and how some lenders are already closing their doors to applications, business growth aspirations holding steady, but will it continue? And how one business almost lost a substantial contract. All of this in the latest Business Finance Bulletin. Let's open this bulletin by taking a look at the latest figures for bounce back and C-bills loans, how much have been borrowed and how many loans have actually been drawn. Now, the latest figures have been released by the British Business Bank and they reveal that across all three schemes, that includes the business bounce back, C-bills and the future fund, a total of £61.9 billion has been lent out across 1,410,037 loans. You can see that's a significant chunk of money which has been pumped into the UK economy. So how is this broken down? Well, first of all, let's look at the bounce back loan scheme. Well, there, the total number of loans drawn comes to 1,336,320 and the amount of money access is 40.2 billion pounds. In terms of applications received versus successful applications, well, that shows an approval rate of 80%. And that's been fairly consistent since the bounce back loan scheme came out. Let's look at C-bills, got the smaller version of it. Well, there, the total number of loans drawn come to 73,094 and bank borrowed comes to 17.2 billion pounds. Got an approval rate of 46%. So you can see quite a large number of applications are being declined. Now, when this CBLS first got launched, the success rate was around 51, 52%. You can see it's now down to just uh, over the mid 40s. Why is that? Well, it's probably because all the successful low-hanging fruit has already been taken. And so it's now kind of businesses who are not as strong are now applying. And so the approval rate is less. Now, as I mentioned, the deadline is now fast approaching to the 30th of November. and already seen at least one major lender who has now stopped taking applications. They've got so many applications on the desk to process that they don't think that they will meet the ultimate deadline of having these reviewed and signed off by the end of December. So if you do think you want to uh, apply for these loans, time is ticking. And so you really need to get your skates on. Of course, if you need some help, don't forget, just drop us an email, info at businessloanservices.co.uk and we'll help you through the process. How well do you think growth aspiration among small businesses has held up? Well, according to a latest report from Itachi Capital Business Finance, it's been surprisingly steady. Now, Itachi Capital um, have been kind of reporting on business growth aspirations over the last six years. And consistently during that period, businesses who are forecasting growth have been sitting around 36 to 39 percent of those businesses surveyed. Now, perhaps not surprisingly, in April 2020, uh, the number of businesses forecasting growth plummeted to just 14 percent but there has been some recovery and um, the quarter two survey showed um, that it was going to be increasing to 27 percent of firms and the latest uh, survey from Itachi has shown that it's still steady 27 percent of businesses are now forecasting growth so good to see it kind of leveling out However, the big question, of course, is what will the next quarter show? We're now going into another series of lockdowns and probably a tough quarter four. And we, as we enter into 2021, there are a number of headwinds facing businesses as well. So it'll be really interested to see whether that confidence level continues to hold up. Here's a reminder of how finance can help fund growth, even in these turbulent times. I was speaking to a business this week, just having a general catch up, and they were lamenting the fact that they've had to turn down a contract which would add a substantial figure to their sales line. The reason they had to turn it down, well, the prospective client only wanted to do business on 90 day terms. In other words, they would issue the invoice, but would not be paid for 90 days. Now, the uh, client that I was speaking to said we just could not afford to carry that sort of debt for best part of three months. Um, I said, well, have you not come across invoice finance? And surprisingly, they hadn't. So I have to remind them, invoice finance is ideal in situations like this. Of course, the key thing about invoice finance is you give your invoice to your invoice discounter and they will give you 
typically up to 80 to 85 percent of the face value of that invoice on the day you present it. So that means you're in the cash potentially on day one or day two, not having to wait 90 days. And that can significantly improve the cash flow in your business. So we're now busy working with that business to make sure that they can take advantage of that contract. Just imagine if that had been kind of just disappeared completely, it would have been a big blow for that business. So if you do want to have a think about invoice finance in order to help speed up your growth or help improve your cash flow, please do get in touch info at businessloanservices.co.uk and we can take you through how this could help spur on your growth. That's it for another bulletin. As ever, I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a like and a share. So that's it. Have a profitable, safe and healthy week. I look forward to being with you again next time.